Okay, and how, you said you did about a year and a half there? Yeah, about a year and a half. And then you went up to what high school? EA Santa Monica Dutch Town? East Ascension. East Ascension High School. And do you still currently attend there or no? Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, you can say that. I'm not a heavy attender, but I, I go. You go. So your name is on the road? Yeah. All right, then. Moving on. So did you play any sports for? You said you wanted to play sports your first time. Yeah, in middle school. So did you play sports for high school? Yeah, I played one year. I played one year. Okay, what sport? Track, football? Football. Baseball, football. What position? Cornerback. All right. <coughs> So stepping away into some other shit, you said that um, you said that you was running around in the streets. Could you speak on street activities like um, encounterments with people that you had to, you hear me, show a different side of you or something like that? Like, would you like to speak on the street life that you said you fell into? I mean, really, a nigga after at my first time going to the parish was this year. You hear me? So it was like before that, nigga was fucking up, but a nigga wasn't fucking up that bad. It was like. Nigga never wanted to go to jail. I'm like, fuck that. But once a nigga actually went and saw it, I'm like, don't get me wrong, son. It was bad and fucked up, but it wasn't as bad as I, I made it out to be. So it was like when I really got the environment and got the feel of the environment, it was like, man, this shit, like, this just overrated. Like, people yeah. make it seem what it's not. But I mean, it ain't. I ain't trying to go back, you heard me? How long was your jokes? Shit, nothing but three days. All the right, day man. the day after I got the bond, I was out there, bitch. So, um, I ain't gonna ask you why you went in there or nothing, but what you said this year that happened? Yeah. So, how old are you right now? 17. So, that was your first time ever being arrested? First, not t not my first time being arrested. My first time going to the parish jail for okay. adults. Yeah, okay. So, juvenile, uh, how many times have you, well, obviously oh. you been a juvenile. How many times have you been a juvenile? Three different times. Three, and what's the total as long as you stayed in juvenile? First time was five eight five days. Second two was three, so twelve. You did twelve. But days. it wasn't consecutive. It was one. I went this first time, did five. Then later on in life, I went that second time, three days. But with juveniles, you automatically get three days. That's a seventy-two hour hearing, so that's automatic. And came home on house arrest the last two times. Okay, speaking of house arrest, I know house arrest. It's very boring and very long. So how long were you on house arrest all together? Like, could you give me months, days, weeks, or total? Shit, the first stretch, I was on that bitch for at least four months. Four months, that was the situation with some of the fellas around here. But the second time, I ain't get on house arrest. No, I lied. The third time, I was on that bitch for like three months, three months. And every time, I had the same judge. Who's the judge? You don't have to say I don't, name. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know who it is, though. I want to fuck the judge around this bitch, probably. <laughs> they had some um some dudes talking about you, you and pistol whipping. I didn't get the story good. You heard me. I don't know if you got pistol whooped or if you pistol whooped somebody or if y'all was just around a pistol whooping. I just heard about a pistol whooping. So could I don't even know if that shit true or not because you know right, I never right. switched that shit up. So. Yeah. I mean, with that situation, man, like, shit, must be the truth. This going to be something you can vouch for. That same day, I had got jumped by the dude. You heard me? I, don't, I forgot his name, but I had got jumped. And it was like, you was walking. And me and you was talking. And the nigga, he knew I wasn't talking to him, but he felt some type of way. But make a long story short, all right, so the nigga jumped me. That's when he busted my grandma's glass. So it's like, I mean, I can't let this shit slide. The only thing that interfered with what I had going on was that judge shit. I went to judge, so I couldn't handle this sooner. So, you know, one day I was just like, man, fuck it, and I just flashed. And, I, you know, one thing led to the other, and dude ended up getting pistol up. We're going to leave it at that then. So <clears throat> what I heard was true. All right, so next question. I'm going to talk to you about beef do you make this song do you involve in beef like what's do you have any beef like what's 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 you and beef like how does how does that play out i mean as far as this songs i don't really like i speak on some shit and if it's true if you get in your feelings that's on you but i'm not about to directly make a track oh whoop do fuck do like it ain't like that but beef nigga don't do like i'm about to make 18 ain't no such thing as that unless a nigga jeopardizing something i got going on because i ain't lying i ain't 
nigga don't do that no more. That's that little boy shit. So I had to really mature and get out of all that shit. Okay, so you said you finna turn 18. So what's your plans for 18? Shit, really get the fuck from Gonzalez. Good shit. For good or you just want to take your little trip out? I mean, not even, not <laughs> even just on a vacation shit. I'm talking about like just remove myself from the surroundings. Because I mean... Shit, I know these parts good, son. I know the good, the bad, and the ugly, and that's not, that's not going to be, you know, helpful to me to where I'm trying to get to, so a nigga just got to remove himself from this shit.